Welcome back everybody to yet another rainy afternoon. I had planned a picnic lunch today. We were gonna go outside, but rain came out of nowhere. I mean, I didn't check the weather, but this morning it was a beautiful sunny day beautiful i mean it did not look like at all it was gonna rain but that's the way it is in the summer these little storms just pop up out of nowhere i'm gonna have these leftover hash browns from breakfast this morning there are a couple of eggs left on there too but i'm gonna have the hash browns i like ketchup and mayonnaise on my hash browns mm -hmm. there was a little bit of bacon left surprisingly It's time to cook supper. We're gonna make pigs in a blanket tonight. We're gonna make, we want to make pigs in a blanket. Yeah. <laughs> you like broccoli? Uh, no. Okay. Woo! My hands are freezing. Jonah, we we're making your blankets. Right. We're gonna make pigs in a blanket. That's what Jonah picked. The biscuits are the blankets. A blanket. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. Okay. Okay. We're gonna put down some flour. Okay. Okay. Woo, okay, we're gonna see. I have the jumbo sized biscuits. What? I think we can get three pigs in a blanket out of what one biscuit. Is those blanket? Biscuits, biscuit blankets. Now we're gonna roll them flat like this. Mama, oh. okay. I can't get them off. Here you go. This one. This way, Mama. We got a lot more to go here. We're gonna do another pan. We got a lot more. Yep, we got a lot more. We got another mama. Maybe tomorrow we'll have a sunny day. I wanna get out, give me some of those rays. Everybody's smiling. Right. <laughs> oh look, it's another happy biggie. They're coming, Jonah. What are you doing? Putting pigs in a blanket? Uh huh. You need some cheese? Uh huh. You need a little snack? Uh huh. I'll bring you that. Go, go, go. There you go. You're welcome. You that. All right, y'all, we've got the carrots going in the back. We're gonna start the cream corn here. And then we're just gonna make some steamed broccoli. Oh yeah, flour. Forgot what I was getting for a second. And we need to turn this on to just a little bit over medium. Ice and big red. Sometimes our ice maker in the refrigerator has mood swings and doesn't produce any ice. It's having one of those right now. Jake's gonna run down to the gas station and get us some. So we have melted butter in there. Now we're putting in flour. This is the best cream corn on the planet. Can't even remember where I ever got this recipe from. I think the last time I found the link to it, it didn't work anymore, but it's great. We're putting in a cup of milk. Okay. Are you doing your numbers? All right, now we're gonna pour in the corn. I had some left in this bag. Go ahead and use that and all this one. It's probably about two and a half pounds of frozen okay. corn. Now it looks like there's not enough of the milk and flour mixture, but since this is frozen corn, it'll start producing liquid here in a minute when it thaws out and it'll be just right. We've used canned corn with this before. It's not as good to us as the frozen, but you can use canned. Okay, we're gonna put in a little bit of salt and pepper and the secret ingredient couple of tablespoons of sugar. It's not really a secret. 
And that's it. Now I'll just keep on stirring this so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. I've done that a couple of times. Walked away from it and scorched the bottom and then your whole pot of corn is no good. So I'll stay right there with it and then we'll turn it down to simmer. And you can put a lot of black pepper. Like the original recipe called for a lot of black pepper. I'm kind of running low on pepper. Should have added some to my pickup order, but I forgot. Kitchen is clean. Coming outside for a little bit before bath time. He was flying by, wasn't he, Manny? Uh huh. It's really cool out here this evening from where it rained and there's a little bit of a breeze. Feels pretty good because it's not very humid right now. My ears are stopped up though. Go front. Yeah, let's go to the front. The rocking chairs are dry on the front. Sit back and rock and let that food settle. We got a tree down. Oh, it's a big branch. Looks like it was a tree and a branch. The tree, a small tree, fell and hit this branch, I guess, and made this branch fall, so. Look! Yeah, a see? Fig. There's some figs. That's what I look for. get his toothbrush ready while he's taking a bath. I got him one of these little U-shaped electric toothbrushes. I ordered this one off of Amazon. I saw an advertisement. I can't remember the brand of the one I saw advertised, but anyway, this is a different one. These are little dinosaurs. It comes in blue, pink, or green. It comes with two of these silicone brushes. These are really, really soft. I think the age group was like two to three for that kind, that size. And then for when they get older, it comes with two regular toothbrushes, but they're still really soft. And you, so you just pop this off like that, just pop it off and then you can put on the toothbrush. It has, I think five different speeds. Let's see, first of all, you can just turn on the little blue light. And then it has one, two, three, four. That one's like a pulsing one, faster pulsing one, five. Yeah, so it has five different settings that you can use. He loves this thing. <laughs> the first day we got it, he wanted to brush his teeth like five or six times. And so to charge it, there's a little bitty place in the back. You just push this through and it's a USB. So then you can just, you know, hook it up to a plug and plug it up. So you put the toothpaste in and then they put it in their mouth, of course. And then you just move it from side to side. I ordered some U-shaped ones for Sissy and Jonah too. These are for six to 12, I think was the age for these. This is like the Toothbrush Chronicles, but before I got Manly this one, 
I got him a pack of these from Walmart and these bristles are so soft. It's just like the toothbrushes that we've told y'all about before. The, gosh, I can't even remember what they're called. Walmart didn't have any the last time we needed new toothbrushes, so I couldn't get any uh, Colgate Renewal. But anyway, I wanted to tell y'all about this one in case you were thinking about getting one of those that the advertisements have been going around about. I mean, they're not a lot cheaper. I think this one was maybe like six or seven dollars cheaper than that other one. I can't remember the brand. <laughs> Cece will demonstrate this one. That's how you do it. <laughs> The Bernstein Bears get ready for bed. The cubs are feeling sleepy. Look at the triceratops. Yeah, they have a triceratops, don't they? Look at that. Yeah, that's a xylophone. Now it's time to wash up, says Mama, leading them to the bathroom. The cubs like to Look play with toy boats in the back. Yeah, Maybe what is that? What's that one? Um, a puppet push. <laughs> Look at that doggy. 